So I feel like every time we start a vlog or a vlog, it's at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 4 o'clock in the morning right now. On my way to Miami. Then I meet up with Rebecca and we fly from there to Antigua. So. Alright. Made it to Miami. Rebecca is now here. Hello. We're on our anniversary trip. <laughs> <laughs> I will make her hold my hand. <laughs> and tell everybody it's our anniversary. Because it is. <laughs> Not the anniversary that they think of. <laughs> anyway, we're here at Islander Bar and Grill by D8 in the Miami airport, and we're about to get some breakfast because we have about four. You didn't get coffee. One coffee? No. no. Not even one? No. Just lemonade. <laughs> no, no, we don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. I got you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we're here getting some breakfast because we have a lot of time before our next flight. Triple. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we have been here. How long have we been here? Like three hours. We trying not to fall asleep here, so we can fall asleep on the plane. We are struggling. You it is a big struggle. So I flew first class from Nashville to Antigua, and let me tell you something about first class on American. Best thing about it is the warm nuts. Yes, I'm allergic, but I ate out all the cashews and left everything else. I also had this orzo pasta dish with a hummus and cheese croissant, and that vanilla cake in the back was very, very delicious. I was really, really surprised because I usually fly Delta, and American impressed me. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is the first view of the island. This is when we began our, I know, I think we began our initial descent before this, but this is when I could actually see the island. And look how blue that water is down there. It's so pretty. Ugh, could not wait to get off that plane. I think the flight was about three or four hours from Miami to Antigua, and I was ready. I had slept, I had ate, I had slept some more, and I was ready to be on the island in the sun, at the hotel, by the beach, etc. So we're here. We got in like 40 minutes early. Um, I'm I'm through customs and everything already. I'm waiting for Rebecca. We just gotta go through immigration. I mean, we went through immigration. Now we just gotta go through customs. I'm just waiting for Rebecca to come off the customs line. We got here about 40 minutes early. We we're supposed to come in at 4:06. We got here before 3:30. But now we're waiting. My mom and her best friend are coming to pick us up, and then we will head over to the hotel. Check yeah, Kelly's checking us in. So we just got in. I wish I had a Kelly. I know, right? Everybody wishes they had a Kelly, honestly. We have rum punch. You love us rum punch. This is delicious. But the whole family's here now, so that's fine. Anyway, I'll give y'all a Hotel tour soon. Not now. I'm just tired. Good night, good night. So we are just finished dinner. We're walking around the resort. There's supposed to be an ice cream place here, so we're trying to go find that. There's a lady singing yummy. Yay! Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. What are you guys enjoying this 
Tell us what. Ready then? On a scale of one to ten. Ten. Oh, come on, you can get chomping. I never saw it. Just a teaser. Day two, we woke up late. We're supposed to be going on an island tour at 9.30. It is now probably after nine o'clock. I'm ready, mm, I'd say like 60% ready. Oh, we have not eaten breakfast, but I'm gonna try and do my makeup real quick because I need something to cover these dark circles. Nothing too much. I'm probably going to use my fingers, which means I'll be really fast. Y'all know I hate using my fingers when I'm doing makeup. So this is today's outfit. Swimsuit from Amazon. Shorts from ASOS. Shoes from ASOS. That's next door's toilet. We can hear everything. Not on me. Um, but yeah. Sunglasses from Shein, 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 whatever. But we're ready to just a couple of minutes, giving you a little historical aspect about St. John's, especially for those folks who have never been here before. We're going to travel up to Factory Road, up to Betty's Hope. From Betty's Hope, we're going to go up to Long Bay. We're not staying at Long Bay today. From there, we're going to go to Devil's Bridge. From Devil's Bridge, we're going to come back down and we're going to go around to English Harbor Nelson's Dockyard area up to Shirley's Heights, then back to the bakery. That will be actually our pit stop. Should be getting there by 1, 1 30, hopefully. There you will sample bun button cheese, bread button cheese, cheesecake, or whatever you want to sample. You're going to have to pay for it anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> um, from there, we should leave there by 2.30. We're going to head to the Caribbean side of the island where we will stay probably at Darkwood for who want to swim, maybe for an hour or so. Um, from Darkwood, we should be head back here at Royal Town. By God's grace, I hope that we have a safe journey. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to ask. So here we are at Betty's Hope, which is a historic sugar plantation. It is one of the first and it is the largest on the island. On the property, there is a museum so you can go in and learn all about like the sugar production process. You can learn about the people who owned the mill as well as the slaves here. Um, and it's a donation and the donation goes to help keep everything restored. So we are at Devil's Bridge right now, which is basically a rock formation. Yeah, it's right here. Um, where the Atlantic Ocean hits these, I think it's limestone, and it created a natural bridge. And you can walk across it, but I don't have to walk across it I'm scared of falling in the ocean. So I don't know if this is true, but they say that um, back in the days during slavery times, um, slaves used to drop themselves over this cliff and that's why it was named Devil's Bridge. As you can see, the water is very rough. This is actually a, um, a, a calm day, but the water shoots up through that little hole It made that little bridge and slaves used to drop themselves off there. And, that's, and once they dropped off, you know, they weren't recovered. So that's why it's called Devil's Bridge. Allegedly, I don't know for sure. It's something that I've heard before.
I am from this community, and if we ever have a flood, this is where we would have come. On the way back then, you will see the house, we call it the boat house. Okay? We were at Gettys Hill, but uh, in Liberta, first of all, let me say, in Liberta, we have about 13 different churches. Okay, guys, uh, for a small community, is the largest per square feet or square foot, but we have the most churches in this community. Is this where we stayed the first time we was here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was the worst. Right in these houses. Yep. Take a picture. I thought it was better than the one in. Take a picture of Yeah, it was. So right here where you see all this tree and overgrown brush, this is where my mother used to live. They used to have like a little one or two room house that my mom and her eight brothers and sisters plus her mother lived in um, before they moved to America. Um, and then, you know, time and lack of upkeep, the house just like fell down, so. So this beach is Darkwood Beach. And if you look all the way out, you see some houses. Those are the houses that we stayed in when I got engaged. So if y'all see my engagement video, those were the houses that we stayed in. This beach is beautiful. Um, this is a little bit further down. This is not the beach that we went um, night swimming in, but it's right next to it. So this is very funny. Um, usually Reggie and I go away for our anniversary trip and this would have been perfect because it is the day after our anniversary. So it's kind of mimicking our honeymoon stay. And so originally he was supposed to come, he ended up not coming. So my best friend came with us, but I still put down that it was our anniversary because it is the anniversary of her being my maid of honor and look at what they did. <laughs> okay. So they're having this thing called Taste of Antigua tonight, um, where I guess it's just a bunch of different cuisine from Antigua, which I must say, I will go and see if I like it. Um, I have been eating Antiguan food my entire life though, because you know, my parents are Antiguan. So I'm gonna see what they have, um, but we might go to the Italian restaurant. I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be a lot that Rebecca can eat. Actually, Antiguans aren't like super big meat eaters, but we eat a lot of fish. Um, so there might be some meat. There's probably, gonna, there's probably gonna be some meat. There's gonna be some fish, but I don't know if Rebecca's gonna be able to get a full meal because she is vegetarian. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm about to get ready. I'm about to do my hair. Um, uh, not my hair. Sorry. I'm about to do my makeup. And then hopefully it could be something really, really quick. And then we'll go eat. We're awake. We're awake. We're <laughs> going to dinner. So we tried to go to the Italian restaurant that's on the um, property, the, the steakhouse that's on the property, but they could not accommodate large groups because they were both overflowed. And there's um, a regular reservation, which is what we have. And then there's a diamond club reservation that wasn't available when we looked. Um, they were um, sold out. So if you have a diamond club reservation, you can just go right in and sit down or you can make reservations. Where if you have regular, you just have to be a walk-in. Um, and so since they were overbooked, there was no table for us to sit. So we're here at the sports bar. Um, probably going to get some fish tacos. And then that's going to be that. <laughs> if they can't do this right, if they can't make a case to be like chicken wings, all you have to do is make them fries. Like, and make them fries. Like, I don't understand. If you can't do that, then I don't understand. Let the people order breakfast. We are not happy. My chicken wings was cold. My fish tacos came in a hard taco shell. The hummus was watery. The salad dressing tastes like salt. I'm hot. 
Took like an hour for our food to come out. The mojitos. The mojitos was good. The mojitos was good. Cameron Hills. We would have to get a lot of different, we would have to get a lot of villas. And then we'd have to like cook for ourselves. Heck right. no. Hey, we're at breakfast. Breakfast today was 12 million times better than dinner last night. It was so good. Like I went back and got more. I had a steak omelet. I had some French toast. I had potatoes. And some mimosas. Pine chocolate, pineapple. I mean, I could, but he a lot. <laughs> he like seven much. <laughs> so we are. We are we are back and we are happy right now. We're waiting for my god sister to come, and then we're gonna go to the beach for the day because I need to relax. I don't know about anybody else. We all need to relax, right, guys? Right. Okay. We're at the beach today on the hotel property, but it's raining. I feel like it stopped raining already. Yeah. Yeah. Ish. We're getting ready with the baby. Hello, how are you? I'm good, good. I think so. It stopped. Yeah. Look at that. I think that's the flower. Seven right minutes. Seven minutes. If that long. And it wasn't even like. No. No, that's this little bit of rain is why it's so green right now. When we came here five years ago, it was dry. Like it looked like if you like rub two sticks together, it started firing the whole island. Four o'clock. We are at the steakhouse for dinner tomorrow. I'll show y'all the menu. Okay. Okay. Oh, that Rex <laughs> got a veggie burger. Bailey, you want to give me a pound? You have put in my food. Bailey. Bailey. Give me a pound. Yeah. Good job. Oh, another one? Yeah. <laughs> What? 
So, how do you think tonight's dinner was from yesterday's dinner? One thousand percent better. <laughs> we had something. To eat. We yeah. had food to eat. Let's start here. That's true. We did get food, so that's important. And the food tasted a lot better. And they were all the correct temperatures. Okay, so today is a nice day. We're about to go to breakfast. And then we are going to go to town to do some souvenir shopping or bring home shopping. And then we're gonna try and go to the beach again. Because yesterday was not a good day to go to the beach. <laughs> We're in the tiny elevator, <laughs> about to go to the beach. I'm gonna try this beach thing one more time. It's really sunny today, really hot, so we should have a good time. Dawn open. I guess now's as good a time as any to show the rest of the property. So, the hotel. And then back there is all the dining experiences the lounge where you book your excursions etc so now we're walking to the pool and fine thank you and the beach area there's also like a teen club and the italian restaurant where we'll be dining tonight is over here so the grounds of the hotel are really pretty it's very very well up kept this hotel is set up like a city block. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a long, it's not like in a circle or a square or anything. It's just like a long strip. So when you first come in, you have like reception area, the lobby, the place where they have the entertainment for the night. 
And then as you walk, you pass the restaurants, the ice cream shop, the gift shop, and then you come upon the hotel. And where we're walking right now is part of the play area. So there is a kids club, a teen club, then like a little splash pad area for the kids. There's also a playground for the kids. Um, and then you come, you walk a little bit further, you get to the pool area and the ocean. And then towards the left, you'll see um, like a little boardwalk area. That's where the like beach bar is and the Italian restaurant. Um, so it is very, very widespread out. If you have any physical disabilities, you might not, you might not like it, but they do have people in golf carts like carrying, like driving people around. I had a swollen foot on this trip. So I was walking a little bit with a limp couldn't really do as much as I wanted to. And so sometimes it was just very annoying to walk everywhere, but it, like I wasn't dying, it was fine. So here is the beach area now. Have a good beach afternoon, Rebecca. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yes, yes we do. <laughs> I'm gonna keep all of that in there. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> yes, it was lovely. Okay. We had a nice time. Hopefully we got a tan. I think we did. I don't know if I'm sleepy or drunk. <laughs> Something's happening though. What did you drink? I had two mango daiquiris plus whatever I had that first time. We might be a little tipsy. I might be a little tipsy. That's it. So we're on our way to the Italian restaurant. We were supposed to go there originally. But then they said that they double booked us and so they had to move us to the culinary experience place which is like a private dining area and so they so that's what we were doing we were waiting for them to set up for us and now apparently they somebody canceled so they're able to accommodate us now so we're walking back over to the Italian restaurant. What you ordering, Bailey? Bailey, what you about to order? Sorry. Okay. So give us a snapshot of what's happening today, <laughs> tonight at this fine dining establishment. Grazie. We're being attacked by sandflies. They're pulling in our drinks. Nets. Nets. They look too big. We're being attacked by insects at a restaurant, so that's never a good thing. They attack up the insects. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them that's just dropped there. So, we put some vinegar on our table, and they are a little bit attracted to that. But there's so many of them, we can't do anything really about it. No, they need to spray them. You know what? You're right because Gorky comes to my house and sprays the yard for mosquitoes, ticks, and all those kind of bugs, and there are no bugs out there. So, yep, they need to get working. <laughs> they need to get working. <laughs> you fast, right here. You need to quit. I don't even have a fork. Oh, thank you. Bailey might have took it. Oh. Yeah. Is the soup? She has the soup. Thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. They have a spoon. Thank you. Oh my god. It's like they're coming faster. Okay, so here's the meatball. I can't really show y'all too much because I gotta eat it fast before the flies attack it. She got the soup and you got the tortellini. It's not 
a meatball. What is she talking about? So, they moved us. It's, it's, it's better over here. No. So, it's much better over here. I'm about to eat Bailey's food. I'm about to eat some of Marcus's pasta. I'm tired. There's a bonfire tonight though, so that's exciting. I am excited about the bonfire. I've been waiting for the bonfire. That's my kind of food. You need to put salt in it? Any salt? Pepper, oregano. Alright, we'll we'll see. <laughs> Child. It'll be fine. Listen. There are so many people if you who haven't even been on a vacation. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> if y'all come to this Royal Ten in Antigua, go to the buffet. The buffet is really good. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Is this a restaurant or? I don't know. This sounds like my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Do they? No, it's just, I mean, yeah, they, had a couple they don't I have didn't... any at the moment. That's like when I'm trying to cook something. I go, oh, heck. I ain't never made this before. I don't have no. This tastes like bacon. That's what it tastes like. I keep, my, mine keep falling down. eat them chicken nuggets with a knife? The stabber stabs, the poker pokes, and the scooper scoops. He said that there was nothing he could do about it. But he moved the white people next to us real quick. So Marcus caught an attitude. And then, and then all of a sudden we had a table. And that's why I need a husband, because I'm just never going to go to fight that far. But I need somebody who I know. I, I really need someone. Neither would Reggie. Reggie wouldn't go that far either. Reggie would be like, it's fine. it's fine. That's true. Like, you need someone who will do it. I will never do it. Yeah. Like, I need that in my life. Oh. I, that's, what we, that's what me and Marcus are saying. Bailey likes it too. You having a good time, Bailey? Yes. Bailey? My chicken is no? delicious. You not having a good time? I am. Yes? Say delicious. Delicious. She tried. It's rosemary. The rosemary is overpowering. Oh, is that what it is? I don't know. That's rosemary, yeah. Okay, y'all, what's the consensus for Grazi? Yeah. Four out of ten. What about you, Marcus? What's up? What's the consensus for Grazi? Uh, five out of ten. Put it in there. My food is right there. <laughs> Kelly's food is right That's here. An indication. I did not eat my spaghetti. It was terrible. It tastes like it had licorice in it. I would give it, yeah, probably four out of five, four out of ten, yeah, 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 yeah. So we thought there was supposed to be a bonfire, but there's no bonfire. Rebecca is very mad. <laughs> she really wanted to see the bonfire, but now it's just this people singing Bob Marley's songs. Not very well either. <laughs> is the first part of the video i decided to cut into two parts because it was like an hour and a half long and nobody wants to watch that anyway guys if you like this be sure to give me a thumbs up that is the least expensive and easiest way to support this channel also don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter at glamazon1026 be sure to click the notification bell and the subscription button so that you can know when the next part uploads which should be actually in a couple of days but be sure to do that and i will see you guys in my next video all right bye